Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to take a closer look at your favorite semiconductor company, Intel. The stock is sitting at over $48 right now, which is pretty amazing, very close to that 52-week high. So what I want to do in today's episode is just take a closer look at some weekly updates that the company has seen. I want to say this is probably one of the biggest weeks in forms of their manufacturing uh, endeavors as we are seeing that Intel just received their first high NA EUV machine and we'll talk a little bit more about that in today's episode but first I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody watching thank you guys for the support I just did the PayPal episode I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot and a lot of great content there so make sure to check that out after this video well let's get started with today's episode I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now with that link you get a promotional offer for the subscription service now let's continue with today's episode all right so the big news that we're taking a closer look at first for intel is we can see on december 21st asml posted on x that they are now shipping their first high na euv system to intel now for those that are not familiar with high na euv that is asml's next generation of manufacturing equipment for semiconductors and right now they are currently using euv the next version is EUV High NA platform and is called the EXE. The EXE platform has been designed to enable multi-future modes starting at the 2 nanometer logic node. They do mention that the first shipments of High NA systems to be will be sent to customers for research and development purposes expected to take place at the end of 2023. And they do expect systems to be fully operational in customer factories by 2025. So we could see it definitely takes some time for this. But obviously, this bodes well for Intel as this new machine, the high name 5200, I believe the EXE 5200 is going to be used for Intel's kind of 18A as this is designed for 2 nanometer meters and below we do know from prior history watching this channel that on january 2022 intel made its first purchase of this high na uh euv machine um the twin scan exe like i mentioned 5200 system there's this pretty cool article out right now that kind of talks a little bit more about it uh we do know that the machine is somewhere around 300 or 400 million dollars and it's so big that it takes 13 huge containers and 200 and 50 crates to ship it. Continuing here with Intel and ASML, there was a report by TrendForce that mentions that in 2024, ASML is planning on shipping roughly only 10, uh, 10 of these machines in 2024. And obviously, they are expecting to increase annual production capacity to 20 in the coming years. But that's insane. That really showcases kind of the strength and, and just how strong this and how hard it is to make these machines right if a big giant like asml can only make 10 next year and by increasing capacity they're only going to be able to build 20 it kind of showcases the true magnificence and how much of an art is to make these machines let's just take a quick look at asml stock price real quick asml stock right now sitting at 752 year to date the stock is up roughly 36.93 percent i know we've been to, we talked about asml when it was in the six hundred dollars uh so if you haven't make sure to hit the thumbs up make sure to hit the subscribe button we're trying to hit thirty thousand subs by the end of the year i'm not sure if we'll be able to do it but i'm gonna keep trying and trying by providing some great content here in the semiconductor space but asml is definitely a company we were talking about in the 600 levels when they dropped those lows and we can see right now the stock is up a nice amount up over 28 percent uh so year to date the stock has done really well especially in the past few months well like we were talking here about asml right they're only shipping about 10 machines in 2024 and again this is important for two nanometers and below remember there's not too many companies here in the logic side that really do advanced manufacturing the only three players right now are samsung TSMC and Intel. And based on this report from Trend Force, Intel has secured six of the 10 taking the lead. Uh, so this is really, really bullish in my opinion for Intel. I'm actually shocked that TSMC does not uh did not purchase that many maybe they know for their two nanometer they can still work with their current euv machines and they're probably need they, they don't mind not having it right away maybe they don't mind waiting a year or so before really kind of 
building their equipment here to focus on below the tw uh, the two nanometer nodes. Uh, Samsung is also is also pursuing some of the equipment here, um, but overall we can see that Intel is going to take a majority of the share next year. And this is very important for Intel. Like we mentioned, Intel is really focusing on that manufacturing endeavors. And this is obviously a pricey investment. If it's roughly 300 to 400 million per machine, in theory, it's over $1 billion um, on these machines, right? It, it, almost close to $2 billion to some extent, depending on where you're looking at it. And that is super, uh, that's a lot of money, right? So Intel definitely has to make sure that they're doing right by this manufacturing endeavors. They have the tools. Now they just have to execute properly. Uh, some other things that we are seeing, 18A node is ahead of TSMC's two nanometer in performance and launch time frame. So Intel CEO does mention that, hey, look, in forms of density, they look pretty similar, um, or in forms of size, they look pretty similar. But what's really going to kind of beat right now is they are a little bit better in performance and obviously coming out uh, earlier than expect, uh, earlier than the competition right now. Uh, so Intel does already have three customers that already lined up with prepaid commitments for 18A. So Intel CEO, right, we can see they're definitely moving in the right direction here with the manufacturing endeavors. Now, some final thoughts that we have or some final news that we have in Intel. Intel recently released their Intel Core Ultra, which is their new AI chip that's going on laptop. It's also known as Meteor Lake. And there are reports that the CPU is already seeing big performance and efficiency improvements with other updated BIOS. When this kind of Meteor Lake Ultra chip came out, we were hearing kind of mixed results that, hey, it wasn't as efficient as maybe many might have hoped, but it does seem like after some quick updates here and there, it is improving dramatically. So that does both well for Intel in forms of their consumer market, especially since they have the competition of AMD in the AI chips and obviously with Qualcomm coming up and, and Apple obviously with their M3 chips. The final thing I want to take a closer look at is there are reports that China GPU sales fell 8% from October to November due to shortages, maybe due to kind of export restrictions and all that. But they do mention that they're still up 11% year over year. So the Chinese market is one market, but I do believe if we are seeing that strong year over year growth it does mean that the rest of the market is also seeing the year-over-year -year growth so it does bode well for a lot of companies that deal in the gpu space especially the consumer side like obviously intel amd and the most noteworthy nvidia right so obviously we are seeing kind of this turnaround story here for the semiconductor space and we did see a lot and a lot of bullish news here for intel so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode take care have a good day and see you next time